swear. And I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Are you guys reading my mind? Do you, do you, have you taken my notes or why? <laughs> but we thank God because we know that we do not need ourselves, but it is the need of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bazolani, um, my name is Kanisa Valencia, as introduced in, and then I'm well known by KB. That's my name. KB is my name. Just grab that one as well. 
in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Sheba, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, I know about, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them all. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of their house naked and bleeding. Let's bow our head and pray. Father, we thank you this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. Therefore, their belief were partial. 
Because the Bible says we cannot do anything without the help of the Holy Spirit. So these people, they were believing, but their belief was partial. It was not full. Amen. And then we hear Paul saying to them, if you had the baptism of John only, that one, it was, it was about the repentance. Now, I want you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says uh, these men who were there, they received the baptism from the Holy Spirit, and then power came over them. They prophesied, and they were speaking in tongues. Amen. I like verse 11 as well. That says, God did extraordinary miracles for Paul. That's where I'm coming to now. Because God was doing the extraordinary miracles through his servant Paul, people believed, people saw what Paul was doing. The Bible says it went to a point where even the handkerchiefs and the aprons and everything, even if Paul takes this phone to heal someone, if you touch it, then you will be healed as well. So people were, were seeing all these miraculous things that God was performing through Paul, and a lot of them believed. So now I want to come to the seven signs of the chief Jew, whose name is Shiva. The Bible says this chief priest has seven sons. And then these seven sons, because they saw what Paul was doing, they too, they went out. The Bible says they tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon possessed. Amen. These people, they were not studying anything altogether. They were imitating. But the problem is that what they were imitating is not what they believed. Now the Bible says they went there, listen to this, they said, um, in the name of the Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. You, you can tell, you can tell the tone and the ways that I use there to say that these people do believe, but their belief is still leaky. Their belief was still partial. They said, in the name of the Jesus, we, you, you get it there, in the name of the Jesus whom Paul preached, and the demon, you know one thing about the demonic world or the evil spirit? They know the power that is vested in the name Jesus. And if you don't have that power, if you claim to know that power, I'm telling you, you'll be naked, you'll be exposed. Here's the thing, that the, 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 the evil spirit says, Paul, I know, and Jesus, I know, but who are you? But who are you? But who are you? The reason why I wanted to start with the book of Hebrews because it says, imitate their faith. Imitate their faith. Paul has faith in everything that he was doing. His faith was, was on another level. He was operating in another dimension. That even God was pleased with him to say, he even did the extraordinary miracles through this event. Now the problem was with the ones who was imitating Paul. They imitated the things that they don't believe in. Imitating someone is not bad. I can come here and imitate how my preacher, uh, my pastor preaches. It, it, there's nothing wrong about that. I can imitate him. But I must imitate on something that I believe as well. Because faith was around. Faith is something else. If I want to believe in the God that you believe, Pastor Numba, then the faith that you have, it should be contagious to me as well. And I must know what I believe in. The Bible says, the evil spirit answered. He was listening when they were talking. He was listening. They said, in the name of the Jesus whom Paul preaches. You see, someone who has believed and someone who knows the power that is vested in the name of Jesus cannot come here to say, in the name of Jesus, that who, who, who preaches. Uh -uh. I know what I believe in this way. And even if I can come to 
imitate someone who was driving out the demons in the name of Jesus. Me too, I can come and say, in the name of Jesus, you come out. The devil cannot ask me, who are you? He cannot. But be careful. Because if you imitate something that you don't believe in, you are in trouble. The Bible says, the evil spirit gave them such a pity. And he even took their clothes. They were naked. That's what the Bible said. They were naked. And they ran. And they were bleeding. <laughs> because the demonic world is very brutal. So let me tell you something. If you believe in Jesus, believe in Jesus. If you believe in his power, believe in his power. If you want to imitate those whom you have learned the faith and the, and the religion on and everything that concerns Jesus, imitate what you believe in. Because you'll be exposed. You will be exposed and you'll be naked. You'll be naked. The world doesn't love us as well. And let me tell you something. When you go to the world with 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 a little little thing of a faith and a partially belief, and you want to cast out demons, they, they will come, they will overcome you. They will overcome you. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, the name of Jesus Christ has been given the, the, the power and the authority in heavens, on earth, and under the earth. That means this name has power in three realms. It has authority in three realms, in heavens, on earth, and under the earth. Now, these seven sons were trying to exercise the authority of the name of Jesus on earth, but they partially believed. They partially believed. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, demons trembled. At the mention of his name, sickness bows. At the mention of his name, every leg bows. Because at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But here we hear another confession that is different. That's tell you that the authority that has been exercised here, it was not in fully. It didn't have the Baba Boom. It didn't. Because the Bible says, when you mention this name, Every tongue confessed, but the confession that we have from this evil spirit, it's, it's something else. The evil spirit says, Jesus I know, Paul I know about, and who are you? Look at the exposure, and who are you? It means these seven signs, they didn't even have authority in the spirit. And a clear thing that shows us that they didn't even have the authority in the spirit is how they command the evil spirit to come out from this man. In the name of the Jesus whom Paul preaches. There was nothing wrong about them imitating. There was nothing wrong because they saw everything that Paul was doing. And I, be, I strongly believe because verse 13 to 16 is still part of 11 that says God did extraordinary miracles through Paul. So these seven sons were there when Paul was performing all these miracles. They said, oh, okay. So when you want to, 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 to cast demons, this is how you say. If you want to do this, this is how you say. But there was one thing. They were lacking. They were lacking the faith. The book of Hebrews says, imitate them. Imitate their faith. You will hear a lot of people, Bazaran, quoting Apostle who, 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 quoting uh, Bishop who, 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 who. Yes, 
they do have the power, those people, but do you have the same faith that they have? Do you? Because if you don't know what you are imitating, you are in trouble. Men, I love the Bible. I love the Bible. The Bible didn't say after the evil spirit gave them such a pity, they stand there. They ran, Mazaran. These were people just like me and you. They ran and they were naked. The Bible says, and this became known to the Jews and Greeks living in Ephesus. They were all seized with fear. And the name of the Lord Jesus was held in high honor. Amen. Imagine. Now it should be trending to say there were people who were casting out demons. And these people got such a meeting. Imagine if it happened today. It will be the trends on Twitter. It will be the talk of every day. I mean like when we meet, we'll be like, yeah, hey, did you hurt? When you go to work, they say, hey, we heard that Christians were doing this and this and this. So you too, one day you're going to get the meetings. You know how the world is. They said they ran. They were naked. They were naked. They, did. they were not covered. And nakedness, nakedness reveals, reveals everything and, and you become shameful. That's, that's what the world will do to you. If you imitate what you don't believe, you'll be naked. You'll be naked. You'll be exposed. You know when something is exposed? You know when something is exposed? Have you ever seen people, maybe in movies, when people are doing something in the dark and then light shows them? I mean, like, these people have shame. Shame will cover you. Shame will cover you. You'll be exposed. So, Bazaran, our lesson from this scripture is this. God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And in him, he has vested the power and the authority that when we believe in this name, in this name, the name Jesus. The Bible should have said something that in the name of Jesus, that what, 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 but it, it came plainly. You just believe in the name of Jesus. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Bazalan, we have to believe right. We have to believe right. We have to imitate the right. And we have to be firm in what we are doing. We have to be firm. I, I still strongly believe that if these heaven sons, if these heaven sons, you see they were a lot, they were a lot. Just to be overcome by one, one man who was possessed with the evil spirit. Oh, come on. How weak are you? How weak are you? Seven. Seven. No daughters, sons. <laughs> no, no daughters, sons. I mean, like, we, we can judge this thing looking at the gender, looking at the number, looking at the father, because the Bible says these were the sons of the chief priest. You see, like, we are expecting a lot from these people, but unfortunately, they imitated what they don't believe in. Or rather, they imitated something that they partially believe in. So now we have to be careful in what we do. Even this way, right? The dark world is waging a war on us every day. Every day. And if you don't stand firm, if you don't know what you are doing, if you want to imitate what you don't believe in, you will be overcome. You will be naked. You will be stripped naked. You will run bleeding. Hey, the other world, the other kingdom doesn't have mercy. It doesn't have mercy. I mean, like, even if someone can come to fight you here, I mean, like, they can fight you partially to say, okay, I will just give the beatings on the face and something, but not to take your clothes. 
because as well you feel sympathy for the other person but not with the other world not with the other world the bible says the evil spirit jumped over them and he overcame them and he gave them such a pity that he even stripped them they were naked they ran bleeding the other kingdom doesn't have mercy doesn't have mercy it doesn't have mercy it doesn't have mercy if you don't know what you believe in if you don't stand firm in your belief if you don't stand firm in the name of Jesus you are in trouble you are in trouble Pastor there is nothing wrong about imitating i will say this for the tenth time there is nothing wrong in imitating It is written in the book of Hebrews. But in your imitation, in your imitating, imitate what you believe in. These people saw everything. They saw everything. They saw everything. They were there. They were like, okay, so this is how you do when you confront the evil spirit. This is how you do when you go to the world. This is how you do when you want to address some issues. But look what happened. And no one ever believed that, hey, these things can happen. I mean, like, we take things very light, more especially Christians. We, we take things very light. We take things very light to say, ah, we have the name of Jesus. And you know, it's just a mouthy. You know, it will come a time where our belief system align with what we say with our way, with our The ways that comes out of your mouth should align with what you believe. Because you'll be asked, yeah? They will ask you. Imagine if you go and preach, they say, and who are you? You'll be asked. But even when the questions are coming, do you have the right answer? Can you stand in faith to say, Yes, I know the Jesus whom I'm talking about. Can you still stand firm to say, I know what I believe in? Can you still stand firm to say, what I have seen Jesus uh, perform in my life, I still stand in it and I believe in it? Can you still, can you still stand firm? Can you? I think it's high time, Mazabana. As the people of the kingdom of God, we need to understand the power that is vested in the name of Jesus. And another thing, we need to stand in faith. We need to stand firm in faith. We must know what we believe in. And we must believe in what we know. Amen. As I said, I was not going to belong. I was not going to belong. But I will still remind every one of you to say, when you imitate, imitate right. Imitate is something that you too, you believe in. Imitate is something that you believe in as well. Because the evil spirit was around, they will strip you naked. You'll be exposed, eh? You'll be exposed. You'll be exposed. Amen. The way the evil spirit was responding to this man. It was so shocking. I believe that everyone who was there was listening. When the evil spirit stood firm to say, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. And who are you? Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? The two names that were mentioned there, the name of Jesus and the name of Paul, carries authority in the spirit. 
That's why they were so recognized, even by the evil spirit. Imagine when you go out there, when you don't even have authority, and you want to be exposed. You want to be stripped naked. They even spirit said, Jesus, I know. You tell me about that one. I know him very well. Paul, I know, but who are you? And this was not the first incident. If you read from, is it, book of um, Matthew or Mark, look, the three seventeen Gospels, there was a time the disciples now, they were trying to cast out the demon as well, and it didn't go. Until Jesus came himself and cast that demon out. And they were amazed, they were asking as well to say, how come? Because we've been saying in the name of Jesus here, but nothing happened. But nothing happened. And they too, they were imitating their master. But now it shows us that what they were imitating, they were not fully engaged into it. They were still partially believing it. So we have to stand firm in what we believe as a man. Me and you, we are called in this kingdom. And not to come in church and to attend Sunday services or what, but we are trusted as the citizens and, 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 and the children of this kingdom to stand firm and defend this kingdom. And how do we defend this kingdom? To stand firm in faith and to believe in the power that is vested in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Basara. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I wish every one of us can take a lesson to say what I believe is what I know. And what I imitate, those who have once preached the message of hope to me, the one who once preached the message of Christ to me, I imitate what is right. I imitate what is right. I imitate what is right. It's about time, Nazareth. It's about time we align ourselves. It's about time we fix ourselves and we fix our beliefs. It's high time. We don't have to talk about Jesus, Jesus, and not even believing in you. Because we do have people who can preach Jesus all day long yet they don't have authority. And it's a pity because uh, some of them or some of us will be standing in front of you and preaching about Jesus. When the evil spirit comes to attack us, when we are being asked who are we, we don't even know who we are. So it's high time what we believe in and what we imitate in Lord, your way to remind us, Father God, that we have to imitate those who preach the message of faith and the message.